What's up, everybody? It's Rowdy here from Team Anger Management and, of course, the world-famous AM Stoppy School. What's up, everybody? I wanted to make a quick video on um, 2024 Rar Mantis. This also works on the 23 Mantis, the 60-volt version. The bikes are near identical. Um, but this uh, modification I'm doing is super cheap, super easy, and you will absolutely notice a difference the minute you do it. It is on the stock chain guide roller system right here, this plastic guide that you will always hear your chain hitting as your chain is spinning. It just makes this obnoxious noise. I'm gonna make and show you how to make a uh, very quiet guide out of what comes in the Rar Mantis toolkit, as well as um, these are some skateboard bearing washers and 5 sixteenths. Um, these are just spacers. Uh, I found these at Home Depot. I kind of measured everything up, but I'm going to show you how to do this. This literally shouldn't cost you ten dollars, um, and uh, you will thank me later. So this is that plastic roller um, and the chain. Just it, it's just a guide it keeps the chain from hitting the swing arm. And uh, when the chain slaps, um, as the uh, tensioner right here moves up and down, the chain kind of moves and uh, then it pops out and makes this obnoxious noise. So um, we will go into our factory toolkit and you'll see you get this. This is a spare replacement for the lower chain guide. And you'll see I have some of the stuff laid out. So this is a 5 16 by half inch long spacer uh you can get it at home depot probably hardware store or whatever um but i'll post a link these are skateboard truck washers so when you skateboard you put new wheels on these go on the outsides of the bearings when you tighten the nut down it keeps the uh, bearings uh, from getting pinched so that it's constant pressure you know on the races um those are like four bucks on Amazon. That's like five bucks at Home Depot. And this is what that chain guide looks like. It comes in your RAR kit. Um, as you see, it comes with a new bolt and everything. This is the old style bolt. So it's a 10 millimeter head on a 23 Mantis. This is the 24 bolt. It comes with Loctite already on it. That's a five mil Allen. These are the two washers. All right, guys, this is it. This is a five mil Allen. Just pop this dude off, super simple. You're gonna reuse the bolt. You're gonna discard this. This is an old one, so this is the roller. Hear how loud that is? That's so intensified when you're riding down the street at, or the trails or wherever you're at at like 30 miles an hour. It's so loud. So anyway, again, we're just using the replacement that comes in your Mantis toolkit. We're just installing this right here. So we're gonna take your bolt, Put on your skateboard washer. That's from the trucks from skateboard. We're gonna put your second washer on. Boom. Then this is a 5 16 half inch. Again, I'll put links. Um, these little skateboard washers, they keep you from pinching the bearings at the races. So your factory Mantis tool kit, it comes with uh, blue Loctite. So we'll blue Loctite this, uh, this bolt on here because this is a high vibration area. So simple, literally. This won't take you five minutes. Put it back on. Boom, nice and tight. Look at that. Free spinning, no more noise. This is a rubber uh, tensioner wheel, but uh, obviously this rubber will create tons of dampening just like it does on the lower. I've tested it on my other Mantis. It is such a good upgrade. So for $10, you literally cannot go wrong. You will instantly notice a difference just by riding around. I literally sneak up on deer on my property all the time. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Literally 10 bucks. You're welcome. Have a good one.